Hello everyone, this is Barb Schmidt. I've missed everybody. I miss going to Quilt Gill. I hope you've all gotten to do lots of sewing since we've been confined at home. There's really nothing special about my sewing room. It's a bedroom that I now use for sewing. I have a small cutting area over here that I just use for trimming and cutting small things. I don't have room in here for really cutting out large pieces, so I have to go down to my basement area to do that. And I have a storage underneath that, and then the chest of drawers is full of the black, white, and red fabrics. The um, sewing machine that's on top with all this beautiful work on it was Dwight's mom's um, it was originally a treadle sewing machine and she had it converted and I just thought it was too pretty to let go and that's also uh, about a 1950 poster 4-H poster that's on the wall above it. I have probably um, one of the best areas in the house, though, as far as lighting goes for my sewing, where my sewing machine is, because my sewing machine sits in a corner where there's natural light from both sides. So that's probably the best feature about my sewing room right there. And I have an oversized ironing board that I use which is waiting for its new cover as soon as I can find some half inch elastic. Shouldn't have started on that project because uh, I couldn't get the elastic for it. And then the closet over here has just all my storage area and my quilts are in there too with all the bins with my different colors of stuff. And as we come around here to go back out the door, I have this uh, little cabinet that belonged to my grandmother. So that is my sewing room. As I say, nothing special about it, but I sure do like coming in here and doing things. Hope to see you all soon. Hi everyone, this is Shirley Rogers. Just giving you a real quick look at my messy sewing room. Uh, I sew in my basement and which is nice because you don't have to pick up at the every day and so it does stay kind of messy um, back there on the back side is a, a, a board that my husband made so I can lay some of my current projects on those I sew with a baby lock quilter's choice and I've had that for a lot of years and it is great and I also have a uh, baby lock spirit uh, embroidery machine and uh, that one's always a little challenging to get lined up but I enjoy the end product uh, what else can I show you my I have a handy husband so that that helps he made this um, table for me cutting table and then he also made an old, took an old vanity and put a press cloth on top of it so I don't have to get up and down to iron. Um, I think that's about it. Some licorice, you gotta have licorice to get through a sewing. Um, this is the closet. Let's see if I can shrink that back up. Um, I have my a full closet here and I have my fabrics divided by uh, color. I think that's all I need to show you right now. Hello, Rock Creek Quilters. This is Arlene Luby. I just wanted to show you my quilting room. However, remember, it's not always a work in progress. I really believe if your room is clean, you aren't sewing. And if you are sewing, it's a mess. So here you go. This is my thread. It's quite a collection. I'm afraid I don't have enough room for all I have. If you'll notice, there's a few, um, only, I think, one empty slot. So, of course, I need more uh, thread holders. If you see over here, I'm going to go to this wall hanging I made. It's um, Yellowstone 
from when we went to Alaska last year. I'm going to go down here to my ironing board and I have a collection of scissors. I'm ashamed to say I have a thing about scissors. If you count them, I believe there's 16 there and one of my favorites is missing. I have one for my mother-in-law and I don't know it's not there. So it's someplace else. Anyway, there's two missing. So here's my ironing board and of course there's my iron. It's an Aliso. Over here is my sewing chair and behind it is my serger and of course there is my lovely accessories that go with my Bernina and I got a new Bernina this year it's a 790 and it's I call her Bernice you come back over here there's my old Bernina and another old sewing machine that I had when I was a girl it's like the one I learned on it's actually not the same one over here on my table is another table runner that I've worked on it's Alaska fabric and then there's some masks that I've worked on these are mug rugs that I've been working on for us to take um, if you I wanted to show you my cutting table it's a mess because of course I'm working I'm actually working on the Christmas mystery earth challenge that I had there's just a little bit of it underneath there and underneath in this lovely drawer of my sewing table is a very, very long drawer. Bob Stritsky made my uh, sewing table, my cutting table. And anyway, that's all my mats and some other assorted stuff. So there is my stuff. It's a mess and it's a work in progress. I hope you're having a good um, summer. And I hope to see you all very soon. Have a great summer and so lots. This is Betty and this is my sewing room. Used to be one of the kids' bedroom, but I turned into my little happy place. It's probably the cleanest it's been in a long time. And I have my AccuCut set up in another bedroom that's next door and along with my Sashiko sewing machine. So I have taken over two bedrooms instead of just one. This is my happy place. This is Jean Smith's sewing room. I'm spoiled. My husband fixed this room up for me from a, a bedroom and another room and just made it into one big room. Um, my cutting table, my ironing table, everything is the right height for me so I don't have to bend over very much. Um, I have a lot of storage. In this cupboard which is full of baskets of scraps and these cupboards over here that are full of folded fabrics um, I have too many I also have a cutting area for my Aki quilt a TV and a dresser that's full of batting and interfacings hope I'm not turning too fast um, I have um, three machines total. My favorite one is my uh, sewing and embroidery machine. And all I need is a design wall, which I might put on that wall right there. And um, I enjoy my room very much. Lots of storage for my rulers. Lots of storage underneath for all the knickknacks, the scissors, the uh, odds and ends that I need there. Um, thank you for touring my sewing room. Thank you. Bye. Hi. Welcome to my sewing room. This is the upstairs sewing room. We're taking pictures at night because the light shines in too brightly, but in the daytime there's a lot of light from the east and south windows. And I did try to tidy up some for this.
This is temporarily a sewing room during quarantine and when I have Never Idle Club. And we'll go downstairs to where the stash is. And this is the downstairs sewing room where I really need to tidy and sort and stuff is kind of piled up, but it's a really good workspace with nice light and big place to put up my tables. So that's the tour. I hope you've enjoyed it. Welcome Rock Creek Quilters. This is Janine Stritsky and this is a quick tour of my sewing room. This is a work room, not a room for better homes and gardens. I'm experimenting with this, so bear with me. Here is the quick, short version of my sewing room. This is done in the basement, and my husband made all the cabinets. everyone, it's Judy to give you a quick tour of my sewing room. First we'll start with my design wall. Uh, just put it together with some command hooks and a rod and uh, works pretty good for my bigger projects. It's not a real, real wide one, but it works, kind of covers up my closet. Then I also have another little design wall over here, um, just for some smaller projects that I can sit up here. And, look at it and just try and figure out how I want to quilt something or like that or also get this uh, challenge project figure out what I'm going to do with that then I have some book storage over there too um, this is my favorite thing is my table I just love my quilting table um, it has a little remote here that I can use just to put it up so that I can stand and do my cutting or I can just put it all the way down and it goes low enough so that I can just sit and sew and do my cutting if I want to. Um, uh, my latest investment, I really, really like it, is my sewing machine. Just got that, got this this spring, got to take a couple of classes on it before uh, they're not doing classes anymore until uh, everything blows over, but anyway. Um, really enjoy that. I've got the embroidery attachment to go with it and just trying to do some YouTube videos trying to learn how to use some of it too. So that U shape is kind of what I like here. So I've got my so uh, ironing board, sewing, and cutting all in one space that I can just kind of roll back and forth with my chair. Um, also I have, this is my latest project. It's a table runner and I just got that finished up. And then my storage, I really like this storage. Um, just different fabrics, got them all basically folded up. Brenda had hers all folded up in, in really nice order. She had a whole big closet, just really neatly folded. So I thought, well, I can do a little space like this and that'll, that'll work. But anyway, the also has a thread storage. And then I just put my projects and stuff down here. Just These are just some of my projects. So that is my sewing room. So that's it. Thank you. Hi, welcome to the sewing room of Marion Sweezel. This is the wreath that my daughter-in-law, Amber, made for me. And over here, we have my very old and reliable sewing machine that I use just for mending. Then I have my embroidery machine. Then I'll bring you over here to this corner. I have a collection of antique irons. Then I'll show you my wall paint, my uh, pictures on the wall. I find this all very peaceful, but... And now here is the sewing machine that I use just faithfully whenever I'm in here. And then when, I, when it's time for ripping, I can swing around and look 
at the Wren house. Come down here and check out my hummingbird feeder. Hello quilters, it's Mary Heideman and I want to welcome you to my home. This was my grandmother's sewing machine used also by my mother. It had a blonde case, so I got rid of that. But for those of you who were on the Kansas City Regional Quilt Festival trip with me, this is what the driver had to put underneath the bus, was this table. Then I have two wooden tables, which I call the church banquet tables. They're on uh, bed risers, <clears throat> and I have the ability here to spread out my things and um, put them in, in order so I can sew them easier. This I've been working on during the pandemic. It was a week by week uh, instruction from Lynn Hagemeyer from Kansas Troubles called Star Cluster. I've laid out my most favorite rulers, Quilter Select rulers. These are the only ones that I have of that brand, but they're definitely my favorite. This is actually the room where I sew. And I have lots of storage in this room, several cabinets, more storage over here. I try to label my totes with the different colors. Here's another storage unit. These are some special things to me um, from the years. I have a Bernina sewing table. Here I have um, a bunch of rulers. Can't have too many rulers, can we? This is my Tula Pink Bernina 770 sewing machine that I purchased at the State Fair. I really like Orofil thread. I have a serger that's old but does what I need it to do. Some of the storage includes um, places for batting, interfacing. I have some fun things up here. I have a new license plate. more ruler storage. A cork board for little notes and pieces. And I have to show you inside this cupboard. marbles and wooden spools on the top but this is all of the kits that still need to be made <clears throat> my UFO kits thanks for joining me in my sewing space today okay we'll see how this goes this is my sewing machine that I discovered in the storage room forgot I had I'd probably use it if I could find the book that goes with it but as of right now, I have another one. This is a sewing cabinet that my folks had. It's full of thread. The small one on the floor is yet, ouch. Yeah, the magnet's really good on it. I'm not gonna open it. All my rulers, 
cutting ironing table. And then I would love to have this on the wall, but so far my son's not real sold on putting holes in the wall. Bear with me, I'll open it up. Another one of my dad's woodworking projects. Okay, now we've made it to the basement. I've tried to sort them according to color, maybe seasons, who knows. I just go down and hunt. And yes, the cabinet's full too. The bottom gray tote is UFOs. The blue tote is kits, and the clear one on top is table runners by the month. And just an added, there's some of the clocks that my dad made. I can't find room to uh, display all of them. And finally, since I have a four-year-old that uh, I don't really like to leave in another part of the house when I'm sewing. This is where I have set up sewing for the time being. Hope you enjoyed the trip. Bye. This is Cheryl Secord, and this is uh, the sewing corner in the family room in our basement. Um, I uh, bought a cabinet um, last year to and put a butcher block on top of it for my sewing area, and uh, the height has worked out really well for me. I like um, being able to cut things on it, and I just pull up a counter bar stool to my sewing machine uh, when I'm sewing. Uh, the drawers have lots of storage in them. Plenty of room for thread and uh, notions. I put a desk organizer in this one to um, put the needles, thimbles, different supplies in. Down below I've got uh, sewing um, uh, shoe boxes with different colors of fabric, um, baskets for uh, charm squares and um, layer cakes and my ironing, uh, my iron down there and books on the other side, um, the uh, bottles of uh, spray and so forth and on the door I've got stencils hanging. So that's my sewing area. Looking forward to seeing everyone else's. My sewing room is in the basement and I have to share my space with my washer and dryer. I'm glad I don't have a stove down here. I'd be expected to cook. Then here's my, my uh, design wall is uh, Flannel back tablecloth I got at a yard sale for a dollar, brand new. And I have an ironing board here that makes out square. Then my cutting table's down here. I have it on bed risers, so it's up to a good height for me. I love pin cushions, so I have pin cushions all over the place. And I have coffee cans around, so when I'm cutting or snipping, I can throw my scrap in there. I don't have to look for where the wastebasket is. And then I have 
I treated myself to a sewing table this spring and I am loving it. And then I have an ironing board right next to it. And I have TV down here and I can watch movies or whatever. My daughters and a few good friends refer this as Mom Mart. And they, if you're looking for a little piece of fabric, chances are you might find it here. Keep my battings and, and stuff up on top. Cindy's just finished quilting this quilt. She's done a really good job. And no, we don't do it for anyone else, just for our own benefit. And I think this has been a really fun thing. I'm anxious to see everyone's sewing rooms and anxious to get back together, hopefully in July. Chris Scott from Washington. Greetings from Kansas and welcome to my quarantine sewing room. What you are looking at right now is my quilt that I have finished and it is ready to be sent to the quilter. I call this my quarantine quilt, although it is a Thimbleberries kit from 2003. My sewing room was originally in the basement and when all of this virus started becoming prevalent, I moved upstairs into the living room because there was not, we were to isolate and no one was going to be around anyway, so I thought, why not be upstairs? Um, so I am at the east end of the living room with my sewing machine set up, and then, of course, in the dining room, I have my cutting mat and all my tools always laid out and in a mess in there. I hope everyone is doing okay. Each week it seems like it gets a little harder to stay home. So I am looking forward to a time when we can all get back to the new normal. Stay safe everyone and we hope to see each other sometime in the hopefully near future. Hi, this is Susan Thomas and this is my sewing space. I like it because I can open the door and get some fresh air and enjoy my water feature out in the patio. And that's it. Thank you. Hello, this is Bobby Likens. Welcome to my part of the virtual tour for Rock Creek Quilters. Thank you, Cindy, for saying we don't have to clean. Because if I did that, I wouldn't have time to quilt and I might not be able to find anything. So what you see is what it is. My quilt room has always just been known as my sewing room. It's also a storage room for all things related to sewing and some things not. I seem to have kitchen type storage units that are living their second or third lives and being very useful. The large brown one is an antique that my grandparents had and I ended up with it. It in lived in our kitchen for eight and a half years when our kids were young. It has a handy wooden pull-out counter on which I rolled out many, many pie crusts and biscuits and noodles and such. Now the cabinet holds bits of lots of sewing-related supplies plus a few other things. The lamp I used, 
by my favorite chair in the living room for a long time. When it was replaced, I moved it in here for extra light when I need it by my machine. I have another machine that I bought when I was a senior in high school. It's a Bel Air. Has a, you operate it with knee control. It's currently resting, and I'm hoping to bring it back to life because it's so handy for mending jeans and things like that. I use the card table here under the ironing board because it fits under there and it works very well for small projects for laying them out. And then I can move it over and it just barely fits under that table that my machine is on. If I'm working on a large project, it's very good to take some of the extra weight and volume while I'm sewing. Over here behind the door are stored my quilt sticks for hand quilting. Some of them are very long, you can see. If my room was not so high, I don't know where I would put them. When it's time to put them together for a frame, I use four of these towers that are stored any place they happen to fit in. Works works pretty well. When it comes time to lay out a larger project, then I have this aluminum folding table in my living room with a cutting board on top of it. Works wonders. And if I'm having company, it's very easy to take down and put away. I also have fabric stored in the back bedroom under the bed in these shallow clear totes sorted by color and I have odds and ends in this larger tote which doubles as a footstool when I decide that I want to take a little rest in my handy dandy rocker by the window. And you'll notice I also have batting. Where on earth do you store batting? And quilts that are waiting to have the binding finished and fabric for a quilt someday. This concludes my portion of the tour. Thank you for coming along and I'm looking forward to seeing the others. Uh, the committee had such a great idea. Thank you and goodbye. Hello, this is Marcia Dirksen from Diller and welcome to my quilt room. I wasn't sure I was going to do this because it's, I have a room that's probably organized clutter, but I wanted to see all of your rooms, so I thought I would participate too. So I cleaned up a bit, and here we go. I'm really thankful for my room, even though it's small and compact. Um, but in my other house, I had to do my projects, my sewing on my dining room table. And you all know what happens then if when you need to eat supper, that night you had to clean it all up and so I'm really happy for a room where I can just um, leave my projects out and shut the door. Um, some other things that I really like about my room is my sewing machine um, faces out the window and I love that, that I can um, sometimes catch the hummingbird um, and right now the lilac tree is blooming so there's lots of butterflies and bees and lots of activity out there so I enjoy that. And back there's my garden, and I'm really glad we're far away so you can't see all the weeds in there. Um, and some other things I like about uh, my room is this is my um, sewing stool. And it was my great, my grandma's. And um, she used it when she sewed. She was a clothing seamstress. Um, she didn't quilt, but we have the sewing in common, so that I really love that. Um... Here are a few projects that I have finished. I, they just need a backing, so I have to get that going and then decide whether I'm going to quilt it or get it to the quilter. And here is my cutting table. And on my cutting table is a project that um, I'm going to be showing at the July meeting, hopefully. And um, it's Christmas fabric, so that's all I'll say about that. But that project will have to start happening soon, too. Underneath my um, table is my fabric stash and oh, I just love the way fabric feels and I love the different colors and um, so I enjoy 
looking through that and I even was able to make a baby blanket out of the stash um, last month all I needed was to purchase a fabric for the border so I am trying to use it up um, and then another thing I have in here is ooh, my wide ironing board thank you Cindy for putting us on to that um, I love it it makes such a difference and it also um, has many different levels to adjust the height too so I really enjoy that too um, yes organized clutter that is what I would say this room is but I can pretty much put my finger on the things that I need when I need them so I don't think things will change I think it's probably going to stay like this and that's okay I'm just really thankful for um, having a room to be able to work in so um, I can't wait to see all of your rooms and especially can't wait to see you in July. Hopefully that will happen. Hope everyone's doing well. Take care. Bye.